Okay, where's Unman? Apparently, him and Livia have a lot of interactions. There he is. He's a new. Yeah. You, you've returned. You've returned from Sovngarde. Uh, yeah. For a moment, I thought I'd lose a friend forever. Lose you to Alduin. I'm delighted to see that you're still safe. If you were me, you would have thought the same. It's not until you realize it was when my fear was the strongest that I truly realized how much I value. Uh. That's because I'm your friend. Friends look after each other and worry for each other. Okay, As for me, well, I suppose it's not too bad to have that one friend who is the savior of the world. <laughs> we have a future ahead, a new world that you just created. Let's just enjoy the moment until we're called to another uh. fight. You've returned! Again? Does that mean you've defeated oh, Mirak? Yeah, Solstheim has been rid of him forever? He's dead. I, heard I tried to pry into the land, the and it seems his dark influence on Solstheim is no more. Gods help us all. Whatever you did back in Apocrypha, it worked. Today, one less evil plagues Tamriel. Now, regarding our trip in Solstheim, there's only one remaining matter. Emmaus Mora. No doubt, you couldn't have reached Merak without his intervention. He taught you the shout to tame all mortals and dragons to your will. But this seems to be a trap, set up to lure you into a greater master plan of his. I doubt we'll ever learn his true intention for you, but against a powerful Daedra such as him, we'll have to tread lightly. Well, if nothing else, I guess it's time to continue saving the world. Killing dragons, etc, etc. You need to put some boots on. I've heard news that Emperor Titus Mede II is... murdered. At his own bedroom in the White Gold Tower. Uh, no one knows who did it. Yeah, Livia heard that too. That and the entirety of Tamriel. His death will mark a new era of terror. People will suffer for what is to come. For his successor, Prince Julius Mead, now Emperor, shall rule this land with terror. I have no love for Titus Mead II, and I shed no tears for his death. What I fear is what will come following his death. Um. It's nothing solid yet. And God, I hope it would stay that way. Prince Julius Mead, third son of Titus Mead II, commander of steels, breaker of blood, conqueror, widowmaker, divines chosen. He will ascend the ruby throne, and rule the Empire with fear and cruelty. He can frighten even the High Archon herself. He mutilated and slaughtered Argonians, and that is already merciful compared to what he does to those discontent with the Medes' reign. I don't want to further talk about his atrocities, and don't ask me if they are wild tales or not. Even the Empire could not deny them. Um. Yeah, ending tyrants. I look forward to meeting Miss Julius Mead. You will have me by your side. There will only be two possible outcomes his or Tamriel's death. Okay. Should Julius Mead revive his family's reign, Tamriel will be doomed. We will bring the light to this place. Okay. Goodbye. It is difficult to admit, but Cesargo could still use some help. You need help? Cesargo has seen that Tofter likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? 
Cesargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? Jezargo has worked hard on learning new spells, trying new things. This will make Jezargo stand out as a mage. But Jezargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jezargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? <laughs> you tell Jezargo when you are ready. Okay. <laughs> you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jezargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Jezargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. Jezargo awaits word of how well his scrolls work. What now? Um. Well, look at the evidence. Nords, generally, don't trust magic, so it's not off to a good start. Throw in the Oblivion Crisis, which was caused by magic users, and the troubles now with the Old Mary Dominion, who are elves and magic users. And finally take the fact that the College is the only thing left standing after most of Windhold was destroyed. It's all fairly damning. Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. I may have entered into an agreement with Enthir. He had something I needed, so I traded him my enchanted amulet. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. I thought I no longer needed that amulet, but I was wrong. It's still useful to me. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. Um, you serve the Thelmor? I was brought to Alanor by Lederi. I wasn't given a chance to choose whom I would serve. And even if I was to be given a choice, I'd still serve the Dominion. Um, don't the Thelmor can persecute those who are against them. Don't the Emperor and Ulfric Stormcloak control their people? Aren't those who oppose them accused of treason and blasphemy? Ultimately, it is evil, and perhaps unnecessary, but it is a norm for most rulers. To criticize the same crime of one side while dismissing the other is not honest. Who's dismissing? Shall we talk? Uh, okay. So we have a quest from him. The alarm's going off. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if this Shezerain stuff is working. Yeah. Okay. Olivia in 
party before for a long time, but that was the previous one. Wait a minute. We've got to talk to the, the guy. We've got to talk to. He's in there. Olivia's quest activates just by adventuring with her for a while. Which you've already done, but that was the previous version of it, so I suppose it doesn't count. May I help you, Archmage? Uh, you have something of Onmans. He wants it back. Oh my. How precious. Onmund is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. I'll make this very simple for you. All my trades are final. Onmund knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. So there's nothing more to be said. Uh, what if I were to pay you for the amulet? No, no, you're not understanding this. Onmund made a deal. He made that choice, and now he has to live with it. Um. I hope you've got some coin. Well, let's just take a look, then. It wasn't the right thing. I've already made it very clear that all of my trades are final. Look how persistent you are. Charming, really. Onman gave up the first time I said no, but not you. All right, I'll tell you a little story. Let's pretend for a moment that a certain individual was looking to acquire a particular staff. Let's also pretend that he traded some valuable items for said staff. And it was only later that it was realized that this individual might misuse such a staff. The resulting disaster would reflect quite poorly on everyone involved. Are you following me? Uh, you want your stuff back. Um. I'll get your stuff for you. Finally, we have an agreement. I look forward to having it back soon. The sooner the better, in fact. Um. Purposely killing your fellow college members is a bad idea. <laughs> I'd advise against it. Theft and assault can get you into trouble as well. As for research, well, a sufficient explanation will cover almost anything. If you're going to need live test subjects for your experiments, it's easier to do that off of college grounds. Okay. Till next time. Ah, I have the stuff. Greetings, Archmage. I have that stuff. Pleasure doing business with you. That was a... Grand stuff of charming? Okay. Mm-hmm. I finally got rid of that stuff. I picked up... Well, another character picked up a long time ago. That's what it was for. This. What now? I got your amulet. <laughs> ha! I didn't think he'd really give it back. Thank you, friend. It's good to know I can count on you. Um, follow me. Lead the way. Okay, okay he's actually wearing the college robes and wearing boots now so you can't see his 
ugly, ugly feet. Okay. Okay, we still don't. Lead on. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Naturally. Um, okay. Anyone else got a quest? We gotta do oh Jazago already gave me a quest. Ellery. Oh, such colors. Someone I could let from um, Maids to Deception. Okay. We have Jazago's quest, I suppose. Oh. Greetings, Archmage. May I help you, Archmage? You're missing something? My Alembic. I need it for some research and can't seem to find it. Okay. Anything else? Actually, yes, Archmage. I believe there is. We've been contacted by the Jarl of Windhelm. It would seem there's some sort of disturbance. From what few details we were given, it sounds quite familiar. I suspect that the power released by the Eye of Magnus was not fully contained and has coalesced in this part of Skyrim. I do hope you still have the Staff of Magnus someplace. I suspect you're going to need it. After show. Okay. Until next time. Never. I, I actually don't know where the Staff of Magnus is. What did I do with that? What the hell did I do with the stuff of Magnus? I may have given it to some. Oh, I suppose I could. Cheat, I suppose, to get it back. What did I do with that? I think I might have given it to um, Marai. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? You have a hunting bow. Lead on. Stuff of Magnus now. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. 
Okay, let's try this mod. Staff of Magnus. Ah, that's... yeah. Okay. I have a Staff of Magnus now. Actually. Be quick. Lead on. You probably wouldn't use it properly, I don't know. Maybe I have to use it. Close the rupture. Oh. Anyone wanna just it? I hope there's something meaningful in what you're going to say. What do you want me to carry? Chisago gave me some scrolls. Let's get going then. I wonder if he'll use it. There's a rupture there. Wow, this is a myself a again. I lost myself control. 